For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelly. I own Dogkind. I specialize in extreme fear in dogs. And today we're going to talk about whether behavior medications turn your dog into a zombie, which I thought was seasonally appropriate. Will meds make my dog a zombie? This is for you if your dog is anxious or fearful, and maybe your vet or a vet behaviorist has suggested anti-anxiety medication, but you're afraid that um, medications might change your dog, maybe make them really sedated or change their personality. Will behavior medications make your dog a zombie? In general, the right medications or medication should not be overly sedating unless sedation is the goal. So if you're working with a vet or veterinary behaviorist, ideally, they should be able to help you experiment until you can find what's right for your dog. Dogs on behavior medications are still themselves. They don't change their personalities, but if they're working right, they're, they're less anxious. You might see faster recovery or uh, decreased negative responses to things that would normally scare them. And I do have an interview with one of our local veterinary behaviorists in my blog, and I will share that link uh, once I get this video posted on YouTube and on, uh, on the blogs. If your dog does experience negative changes in behavior after starting a medication, and certainly there are side effects, potential side effects of pretty much any medication, and finding the thing that's right for your dog might take some work, Make sure to consult with a prescriber right away, whether it's your general practice veterinarian or uh, your veterinary behaviorist. I have some examples of dogs on drugs today. So you can see dogs doing well and not being zombie-like. Here is my little guy, Pancake, who is on four behavior medications right now. He is, um, <laughs> he is certainly happy and uh, not terribly sedated. Here is Piper, one of my clients, seeing a squirrel. You can see the squirrel in the top of the video. Um, she's on two behavior medications, and here she is playing with her bubble machine. There's a button she can press under that blue blanket to make the bubbles go. Very cute. Highly recommended if you've got a dog who loves bubbles. Bella here is on two different uh, behavior medications, and here she's playing a sniffing game where the thing she's searching for is that button that she's pouncing on that um, goes to her automated feeder. Here's Nanako, who I believe was on one behavior medication at the time <laughs> of this video, um, having a good time playing with her mom and playing with toys. So happy. Happy girl. Here's B, who's on three behavior medications. Um, she likes to <laughs> attack this yoga ball. Um, so this is her being goofy. And then I have a little clip of her um, working with her mom and training. Um, here she's doing a little um, exercise, attention and food an eating exercise we did in the confidence building for dogs course. Um, she's So she's looking pretty happy here, certainly attentive, not um, sedated or un, you know unable to focus or participate in training. So really, really um, another example where a dog here, she's on three behavior medications that I think I mentioned. Um, and you can see that she is, she's doing well. So if you are considering behavioral medications, the first thing you would want to do is consult with your veterinarian or ideally a veterinary behaviorist. Th those folks are the experts in behavior medications. And I will post a link to a, a search engine for boarded veterinary behaviorists um, below this video when I get it up in our blog. Follow their instructions. This is really important. It's very common for people to try a medication for a day or two and get worried because their dog is really sleepy or their appetite is decreased or whatever and then just suddenly stop the medication without consulting with their veterinarian or veterinary behaviorist. It's really important to, and this is number three, keep lines of communication open with the prescriber so that if you see something you're worried about, you can talk to them before making a change. Uh, some of these 
medication should not be stopped suddenly. And in general, you don't want to make medication changes without consulting with um, the veterinarian or veterinary behaviorist who prescribed them. So follow the instructions, keep lines of communication open, and you may have to try multiple medications or combinations of medications before you find what works best for your dog. But as long as you are talking to or emailing with your veterinary behaviorist with some regularity, this is, is something you can do in a reasonable amount of time, all things considered. Don't forget to get your free guide, Caring for Your Fearful Dog, at dogkindtraining.com care. Thank you for joining me.